I'm going to show you how to fill in the tables for the matrix chain multiplication and later on splitting the matrices. So here's the formula. When i is equal to j, you just fill in the zeros. Yes. And you can basically ignore all of these guys. Huh? So what is this one, which is m12? Well, first of all, i is 1, j is 2, k goes from 1 to 1, according to this formula here. So when k is 1, we have m11 plus m22 plus p0, p1, p2. M11, it's 0 here. 2, 2 is 0 as well. So 0 plus 0 plus p0 is 5 times 6 times 4. That's going to give you 120. So we got it. So the, the loop goes from 1 to 1. So we're basically finished here. 120, we fill in this slot. And the chosen k is 1. So we got 120 when k is 1. So we fill 1 right there. We want to fill in this slot. So m23 i is 2, j is 3, the loop goes from 2 to 2. When k is 2, we have m22 2 plus m33 3 3 plus p1, p2, p3. This is 0 plus 0 plus p1 is 6, p2 is 4, p3 is 2, 48. So that's it. The, the loop is finished because we're at the end, which is 2 here. So we're finished. Now fill in 48. The k is 2, right? Now we want to fill in this one. So m34, i is 3, j is 4. The loop k goes from 3 to 3. Now when k is 3, we have m33 plus m44 plus p2, p3, p4. 0 plus 0 plus p2 is 4, p3 is 2, p4 is 3, 24. So this is 24. The loop has finished. And k is 3. We want to fill in this slot here. So m13, i is 1, j is 3, k goes from 1 to 2. So when k is 1, we have m11 plus m23 plus p0, p1, p3. This is 0 plus m23 m23 is 48 48 plus p0 is 5 p1 is 6 p3 is 4 no p3 is 2 okay this is going to give you 100 in uh, 108 then when k is 2 we have m12 plus m33 plus p0 p2 p3 m12 that's 120 plus 330 uh, P0 is 5, P2 is 4, P3 is 2, and this will give you 160. So obviously this one is smaller, okay, the loop has finished, right? So we consider the smallest one, which is 108, that's going to be here, and the chosen K is 1. We want to fill in this slot, so that's going to be M24. So I is 2, J is 4, K goes from 2 to 3. So when k is 2, we have m22 2 plus m34 plus p1, p2, p4. That's 0 plus 24. Plus p1 is 6, p2 is 4, p4 is 3. This will give you 96. Then we have k is equal to 3. So m23 plus m44 plus p1 p3 p4 so m23 that's 48 440 plus p1 is 6 p3 is 2 p4 is 3 and this will give you 84 but the loop has finished we choose the smallest one 84 do this in and the chosen k is 3 now the last one m14 so i is 1 j is 4 k goes from 1 to 3 so when k is 1, we have m11 plus m24 plus p0, p1, p4. This is 0 plus 24 is going to be 84. Plus p0 is 5, p1 is 6, p4 is 3. This will give you 174. And we have k is equal to 2. So m12 plus m34 plus P0, P2, P4, we have M12, that's going to be 120 plus
plus m34 is 24 p0 is 5 p2 is 4 p4 is 3 this will give you 204 and last one k is equal to 3 so m13 plus m44 m44 plus p0 p3 p4 this is uh m13 is uh, 108 this is a, this is 8 so 108 plus 0 plus p0 is 5 times p3 is 2 p4 is 3 this will give you 38 so the loop has finished this one is obviously the smallest one so you get 138 the chosen k is 3 138 is the minimum cost okay now the last step write out a1 a2 a3 a4 now from 1 to 4 right from 1 to 4 we need to split it so 1 to 4 that's right here it says 3 it means we split here right we want to split like this yeah we split it like this but in reality we don't really need this bracket here okay? it means the same if you just write it like this it's fine both ways are fine now we need to split from one to three one to three is here it says one right so it, mean, it means we need to split like that but now we get uh we get this and we get this but honestly you you don't need these brackets okay it means the same if you just remove it like that so now two and three well you no longer need to split this because if we say x times y we you can write it like this or if you split it you'll get something like this which means exactly the same <laughs> so there's no point in putting those brackets and that's basically it